Darren, can you talk about the progression of the game for you offensively, going from kind of the first quarter where you weren't really looking for your shot much? I think you only had a couple of attempts. You have one point to like a career high 22 point fourth quarter. Like, how did the game progress for you in your approach to it? Uh, it was really just, I mean, trying to be aggressive. Um, I think the first quarter I was like, maybe one for three or one for four, something like that. But um, when it gets down to it, I mean, a lot of times, like I said, my team looks for me to create. Um, and a lot of that was me getting downhill or me getting just touching the paint, um, either having a float or a pull up, layup, or uh, just being able to kiss, kick the ball out whenever guys are helping. So um, that's pretty much all it was. Nothing as far as game plan really changed. The coach said that you changed some plays. He called some and he said, I see something better. What were you seeing out there in the fourth quarter that, that – got you more shots that were open or your teammates? Yeah, uh, when something worked, um, we just wanted to go back to it or if there was a matchup that I felt like uh, we can exploit, uh, go to that. Um, and I mean, that's when it gets to the fourth quarter in, in a lot of NBA games, um, it gets real, gets real basic. Um, you know, people aren't running anything that's complicated. Um, so that's pretty much all it was. Just try to get, uh, try to get whoever you want on you, uh, try to get to a spot. And, and, and that's, that's how fourth quarters work. When you uh, have a fourth quarter like this, just watching you, you don't seem to be going too fast. Does the game slow down a little bit in, in the fourth for you? Like, it, it, it just, it just describe because it, it doesn't seem like you're overexerting yourself or, you know, it just seems like you're playing your game and getting to your spot. I would say um, you just kind of get into a zone. Um, not necessarily that it, that, it, that it slows down, but, you know, a lot of that just you pick – you pick where you want to get to. You try to get there, and you shoot the shots that you work on. So um, a lot of the fourth quarter had to do with that. Um, and it's, like I said, it's, it's really as simple as that. You know, I think, you know, we can talk about your guys' offense and how you score. And you scored 117 points tonight, right about your guys' average. And you give up 115, but I still think defensively for you guys, that's kind of what kind of locked down the game in the sense of you were able to take away as a team their strength, which mm -hmm. was their three-point shooting. How did how do you feel you guys did in your approach to that and and how it impacted the outcome? Yeah, coming into the game, I mean, this is one of the better three-point shooting teams. I mean, they got up 44. Um, our goal was to try to keep them at about 30. Mm -hmm. um, but, I mean, this is a team that's going to try to get them up. But um, I feel like we forced them into some shots that they didn't want to take. But uh, for us, defensively, we have to be better without fouling. You know, giving up 30 free throws, especially on the road, isn't a recipe for winning. But we were able to get stops whenever we needed to. Um, and, I mean, I think we ended up getting it to like a four-point game. And that's kind of where you want to be, especially on the road. Um, they made some plays and tied it up. But... I feel like if we weren't able to get stops at that point, we might have been down in a, in a, in a place like this. You don't want to be down with, you know, a minute or two to go. Um, I don't know the last time we trailed, you know, during during this game, maybe a little more over three minutes maybe. Yeah, I, I don't know what it was. They had a lead at like the 722 of the first yeah, and, quarter, and, and then they took it over in the fourth, and then you guys were kind of back and forth, which is really reminiscent mm -hmm. of the first game in Sacramento. Yeah, but being, being able to do this, especially in a place like this, and the way that this team shoots the ball is, is phenomenal. And I think we, I mean, we did a good job on Laurie, but 15 free throws is, I mean, you want to be, a, you want to keep a guy like that off the line. How does uh, Domas help you out, especially down the stretch? Like, what, what impact is he giving you out? I mean, one, Domas is, I mean, he's an extremely selfless guy. Um, he's one of the best screen setters in the league, you know, so he's, I mean, he wants to get you open. You know, it's, it's different when there, there are guys that want to set their screen because That'll get that'll also free them up as well. But he he wants to get you open. Um, I mean he he goes out there and every single thing that he does is is a good basketball play because he wants to win. So uh, just having him out there and just being able to play through him at any point of the game. Um, I mean he threw a pass over the top to Keegan that was late in the game, got an and one. Um, he he does like things like that throughout the course of the game and um, especially down the stretch. He does whatever it takes. Rather if it's him just setting a screen and knowing that he's probably not getting the ball or him having to score or him having to get an assist, uh, he does everything for us. All right, thanks. Thanks. Oh. thanks.